Hello dear students, welcome back to Bio Vidyalaya. I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about anatomy of xylem. I took this topic from CSAR net plant physiology unit. In our previous lecture video I had given an introduction about xylem and phloem. If you didn't watch that video then the link is here in the up right corner. Please go through that. So, without further delay, let's get into today's class. As we discussed in our previous lecture video that function of xylem is to transport water and minerals from root to other parts of the plant. And uh, function of phloem is to transport food that means photosynthetic product. So, xylem is one of the two types of transport tissue in vascular plants. Vascular plants means plants with vascular bundles like a fern, gymnosperm and angiosperm. So, xylem is present in vascular plants and it is transport tissue. Transport tissue means conducting tissue that contact water and minerals. So, xylem is a conducting tissue. Okay. The word xylem is derived from ancient word xylon meaning wood. Okay. The term was introduced by Carl Nageli in 1858. Xylem is a complex tissue. Complex tissue means the tissue that is made out of more than one cell type. That is called complex tissue. If it is made out of one type of cell then we can call it a simple tissue. So, our xylem is made uh, up of more than one type of cells that's why it is a complex tissue. So, xylem is a conducting tissue because it helps in water and mineral transport. It also provides mechanical support for the plant. Okay, as I told xylem is a complex tissue that's why it is composed of four types of cell. Okay, and uh, some cells are living. Living means with protoplast and some are dead. That means without protoplast. Okay, so let's see which are the four types of cells present in xylem. Tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers and xylem parenchyma. Which are the four types of cells? Tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers, xylem parenchyma. Okay. So, see this picture. Here you can see that this is tracheid. This one is vessels. And in between tracheids and uh, vessels, you can see xylem fibers. And uh, this one is xylem parenchyma. Okay. So, let's see the features of each cell types in one by one. First is tracheids. Tracheids are elongated spindle shaped cells. They have tapering ends. They have tapering ends. The walls of these tracheids are heavily lignified. The walls of these cells are heavily lignified. They have opening in their walls that is called the pits. This is pits. These tracheids are arranging like overlap. Like this. These pits are helpful for transporting water between tracheids and uh, upon getting mature this 
um, tracheids will become dead cell that means non living cells. So, these tracheids are dead cells and the function of tracheids is to transport water and minerals. Next is vessels. Vessels are short and tube like structure. They are short and tube like structure. They are wider than tracheids. Their lumen is wider than tracheids. And vessel is made out of series of cells placed end to end like this. So, vessels are vessel system is made up of series of cells placed uh, end to end as a long tube like structure. Each cell is called vessel element. Each cell is called a vessel element or vessel member. Each um, vessel member has perforation at their end walls. That is called a perforation plate. Perforation plate. See here, this is perforation plate. This is helpful for the passage of water and minerals. Okay. Through this perforation plate only water and minerals move from one cell to other. One vessel member to other vessel member. Okay. Then uh, here you can see pits. So pits are also present in vessels. And uh, one important point is vessels are present in angiosperms. Vessels are mainly present in angiosperms. And this vessels are also, vessel system are also non-living and they devoid of protoplast. They will get non-living at their maturity. Okay. Next is xylem fibers. So, xylem fibers are also non-living. They are non-living sclerenchyma cell. They are non-living sclerenchyma cells. They are also dead cells. Uh, they do not contain protoplast at their maturity. And these cells are found in between. They are found in between tracheids and vessels. Okay. They have also thick lignified secondary cell wall with very narrow lumen. And the main function of xylem fibers is to provide mechanical support. Okay. So, the last one, the fourth one, parenchyma, xylem parenchyma. Here you can see xylem parenchyma cells. Xylem parenchyma cells are the only living component or the living cell in xylem tissue. They are living cells. The rest of the cells like uh, tracheids, vessel, fibers, they are non-living. But this xylem parenchyma is living cell. The only living component in the xylem tissue. They have thin celluloid cell wall and lignified uh, secondary cell wall is absent. And uh, function of this xylem parenchyma is to store 
food in the form of starch, fat or tannins. And one time uh, one type of uh, parenchyma cell called ray parenchyma T cells. They are helpful for the radial conduction of water. Radial conduction of water. Okay. These are the different cell types present in xylem. Trachis, they are elongated and spindly shaped with tapering ends. This one is the trachis. The walls of these cells are heavily lignified with opening in the walls called pits. They are non-living cells. It helps in water and mineral conduction. Next is vessel. They are short and uh, tube-like structure, wider than trachids. Vessel system is made of made up of series of cells placed end to end as a long tube-like structure. Each cell is called vessel element or vessel member. Each vessel member has perforation at the end walls called perforation plate for easy passage of water and minerals. They have pits in their lateral walls. They are present in angiosperms. The cells are non-living and they are devoid of protoplasts at their maturity. Xylem fiber. This is xylem fiber. They are non-living sclerenchyma cells. They are also dead cells and they do not contain protoplasts at their maturity. These cells are found in between the trachids and xylem vessel of the silent tissue. They have very thick lignified secondary cell wall with narrow lumen. The main function is to provide mechanical support. Xylem parenchyma, this one. It is the only living component in the xylem. They have thin celluloid cell wall. Lignified secondary cell wall is absent. Function is to store food in the form of starch, fat or tannins. Radial conduction of water takes place by the ray parenchyma cell. Here I am winding up this lecture video. I hope this video will be helpful for you. In our next lecture video, we will discuss about ascent of sap. If you like this video and find it helpful, then please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Your suggestions are very important for me. So please comment your suggestions in the below comment section. Keep learning. Thank you.